Hey, what up? It is your girl, Melissa Denise. So today we're going to be talking about heat damage and a few possible ways that you can fix that heat damage without having to cut it off. Restoring your damaged hair. I'm not saying that these straight pieces are going to start curling again, but those like straggle, like struggle curls that they might curl and then have a weird jacket and then curl again. Those pieces, they're more than likely can be, you know, converted back to normal. Okay, so the first step is to assess the situation. You know what your curl pattern looks like, so go through your head, and if you have straight pieces, if you've lost some elasticity, you probably have a little bit of heat damage. I know when I straighten my hair, I use a ton of products, so the first thing you want to do is clarify your hair, because all that product buildup could possibly be weighing down your curls, and it can maybe appear to be heat damage, or I mean, it could be heat damage, but you definitely want to make sure your strength are completely clean and start on off on a clean slate so you could either use a clarifying shampoo apple cider vinegar benonite clay are all great options you already know I'm gonna say it do a protein treatment heat straightening and just normal wear and tear can lead to cuticle damage so in general a protein treatment is gonna pretty much work like a bandage per se so it's going to patch up any holes, tears, or rips in the cuticle, so like a cast. So if you break your arm, the cast is going to hold your bone in place until it properly heals and then, you know, it'll start functioning as normal and this is exactly what a protein treatment will do for your hair. You could definitely make one yourself, but me personally, I would start off by using something a little bit on the stronger side. But there's the Alpha-G 2-step and that's more on the strong side and then there's the Alpha-G 2-minute reconstructor and that's a bit more milder and give the products time to do its job. Don't think you're just going to go to sleep and wake up and it's going to be miraculous. Gone. In addition to protein treatment, something else you can try is doing a beer rinse. That I have never done before, but I've always kind of been a little bit interested. If you have done it before, let me know about down below, but I've heard great things about it and how it definitely does restore life into damaged hair. When all else fails, deep condition. When we flat iron and blow dry our hair, moisture leaves it, so the goal is to restore moisture back into our hair and that's where deep conditioning comes into play and that will hopefully restore your hair back to its natural state. Okay, now that we have done all of that and your hair still isn't looking the best, maybe give your hair a second to breathe and then maybe the following week we're going to start with the hot oil treatments this can help restore shine and elasticity it's moisturizing and nourishing on the inside and the out as well as it is going to enhance the smoothness of your strands and a whole bunch of other stuff that we'll get into at another time so definitely add that in to your regimen and hopefully it will bring life back into that semi-damaged hair make sure you are using a shower cap when you're doing hot oil treatment as well because it's just going to trap in the moisture and give your hair as much moisture as possible after you have gone through all of those steps, give yourself maybe about three months and then go back and reassess the situation. All of these things you can do every single week except for the protein treatment. You can deep condition every week, hot oil, oil treatment, clarify your hair every other week. You can do a beer rinse, like I don't know how often you can do that, but it's not gonna kill you. It's not gonna like make your hair fall out. But yeah, so if you stick to a solid regimen and commit to doing this for let's say three months straight, then if your hair is not completely fried, it might possibly revert back and be fine, you know? I know everyone's like, oh, if you have heat damage, you have to cut it off. You don't have to cut it off. You can try and save it. It is possible, people. Um, so if it's savable, it will go back, but just give it time. Like maybe in three months you've, you will notice like a little bit of a difference and you're like, oh wow, my hair is bouncing back, my curls are back, but maybe it's not 100% back. Just keep on going. Like maybe you need four months instead of three. But then on the flip side, if those pieces after three months are still straight, no curl, no bounce, you gotta cut it. 
me let me know how it goes if any of you guys are going to try to restore your heat damage or if you have heat damage let me know down below like always I love you guys I wanted to get this hair video out to you guys before I start posting Halloween stuff because I have a few Halloween videos coming your way this month but don't worry I'm not going to abandon the hair side of stuff I'm still going to get hair video out to you guys hopefully every single week that's pretty much it but like always i love you thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye Peace.